Hello, thanks for taking the time to check out Johnson RV and some of our videos. My name is Bryce, and today we're gonna to take a look at the 2012 Tahoe MVP. This is the 230 QB model, so 24 foot. Um, what I'd like to do is just take a little bit of time to go around the outside, inside as well. Maybe you'll check out some things that you weren't able to pick up in some pictures. So follow me. This is sitting on the Ford E350, so we're three quarter ton uh, V10 engine. Uh, as we make our way around the side here, uh, we've got our 30 amp shore power cord, 4,000 watt Onan gasoline gen. And a little unusual for a Class C in this size, but we do have a full pass through storage here. Um, so you'll be able to take some of the longer things that you normally wouldn't be able to in something in this short of a coach. You've got your furnace output, uh, hot and cold outside shower, park hookups, dump station, uh, and, your, and your dump station here is not in a container. Um, so if you do end up spilling or make a mess, uh, it just, you know, it's out here. You don't have to worry about cleaning out a storage bin. As we come around to the outside here, uh, we've got a 5,000 pound tow hitch. Uh, our, the storage in the back here, you can access from the back or the passenger side but gigantic storage. Uh, we've got a drain down in the bottom there. So throw some wet clothing, um, gear, things like that, and, and just end up rinsing it out and let it drain out. So real easy to clean later on. Coming around the passenger side, uh, we've got the same deal here. This is just the other side of our storage bin. Much bigger access door to get into. Uh, we've got a 10 foot awning here. This is a manual awning, so grab your pole, crank it down, potable water, uh, another storage bin here, and your piping for your fresh water. Six gallon hot water heater, refrigerator access, uh, 110, bring a TV out with you, radio. And then our propane's down here, and this is the other side of our pass-through storage. Um, you know, pretty good height here, but just very deep goes the width of the coach. And let's go on and make our, make our way inside. As we come in here in our cab area, um, you do have cruise control, air conditioning, um, your, your radio, CD player, things like that. Our bunk above the cab here is actually kind of nice in that it's fairly low. So it's not a normal climb like you'd have in most of your class C's. So getting in and out, um, it makes it a little bit easier. Got an LCD TV that's on a little pop out swivel mount that'll pull out. It's a 12 volt TV, so it will work on your house batteries. Big U-shaped dinette, which will turn into a bed as well but this could easily sit four or five maybe even six people in our kitchen area double stainless steel sink lots of deep storage here counters that pull all the way out so there's no reaching in to find something in the back of your drawer and then more in storage and storage a couple skylights with some fans uh, roof ac here controls are right on this too so everything's going to blow straight down from here and then you've got your standard microwave, free burner gas cooktop, no burn marks, very clean gas oven as well. And then your fridge freezer, just standard two door. We do have a corner bed model in this. Um, in your bed, you've got some, some wardrobe area here. Get your hanging clothes, nice deep, deep cabinetry. And then another wardrobe on the opposite side of our refrigerator. You've got a little split bath here. Sorry, I'm just trying to make it easier for you guys to see. Uh, the sink is on the outside of the bathroom. And then you've got your toilet and shower. Um, the shower on this, let's see if I can get in here, excuse me. The shower is uh, almost a corner style, so you do have some elbow room. It's not just a, a parallel dimensions here. Um, and then we've got another fan up inside here as well. And as always, there's still plenty more to see. Again, my name is Bryce Gench. Give us a call, 503-668-5400.
um, or come on in and check this thing out.